We are at Restaurant Depot, Medley, Florida. This is their frozen tuna, $5.79 a pound. Fresh tuna would actually cost you three times the amount, but this is what frozen tuna looks like. Very light in color. I've been told this is from Ecuador. It's basically yellowfin. So we're gonna buy a piece and take it back and show everybody what it looks like compared to our fresh tuna. And today we have something else to show all of you. We want to show all of you the different kinds of tuna there is. Basically there is the frozen tuna that you saw just now earlier that we picked up to show a sample and also the fresh tuna, so. Okay, what's we're gonna show them. This is the frozen tuna. We cut it this morning. And then, uh, you know, actually, after the frost, there's many, many water coming out. Like this one, you can see. After this, the frost, so many water coming out. Well, that's a lot of water. There's a lot of content, right? So I need to take all the water out, and I don't know how to I use the paper towels. Cutting What's your first feeling about this tuna when you see it, Hero? Uh, how I feel with this tuna? It's kind of very, very pink. Could be this is a toro. <laughs> so, wow, it's good. Hero, this color looks really, really pink. And I see some white spots in there. What is that from? That's actually, you know, the, from the water after the frost. And then water is sitting in here. So, uh, 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 that, that change the color, start to change the color. Right, also is that? Yeah, also sometimes some of the tuna, frozen tuna, uh, a little bit frozen brown or something. Do you think it's dry. freezer burn? Could it be freezer burn? No, this is uh, from the water. From the water. Yeah. And do you think they added water no, into the tuna? It's, just it's add more weight? If you put it frozen, you know, of course, uh, the water just coming out and they stay on the, on the top. You know? Okay. That's why after the frost is going to be changing. Okay, so what's the first step when you prepare first, this? I'm going to uh, cut into the saku. Okay, I'm going to pass to cut off the top. No, we've done nothing in our editing to add any color or take color out. Mm. This is exactly what you see. Mm. Meat is actually not so good. So it's splitting. Mm. The meat splitting. What does that mean when the meat splits like that? Yeah. What what causes the meat to split? Um, because while they're doing the frozen process. Um, Yeah. When they're doing the uh, frozen process, sometimes they're breaking the, the fibers. Okay. You know? Okay, so then, uh, normally I keep uh, these things on the, uh, on the correct tray like this. Yeah, I'll tell you, if I were to order a sashimi plate here and I were to get this tuna, I would turn it back. There's no way I would um, accept this. I, at least from a regular Japanese restaurant, you know? And now, I'm just gonna compare with the uh, fresh tuna. Okay. This is actually fresh tuna. Okay, you can compare between this one. We take it on the cutting board, Hero. 
take one piece and put one next to the other. So on the bottom we have fresh tuna, on the top we have frozen tuna. And I don't know if the camera can pick up the different contrast, but it's huge. Big difference. Uh, just when you go out next time and you're having sushi, just look for that color, you know, you want that deep red color. Something that we've been stressing for a long, long time and for good reason, because you're paying good money, you should, you know, you deserve the best. So. Well, thanks so much. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Okay. Let me see. I want to make sure because. All right. Let's go, Hero. Okay. So, this is the fresh. Tuna this is a frozen tuna. Do you want soy sauce or no yeah, soy sauce? No sauce right. Okay, here, let's give him this one first. I give it to uh. Okay. This okay. is sample A. Yeah, of course, I give it to you sample A. Okay. That's sample A, okay? This is A. Okay, now I give it to the B. So now tell type A, type B. The A, is, no. the A is frozen and the B is uh, fresh. How can you tell? Because the A is very watery. Very watery, huh? Yeah. And how does it taste? Is it kind of watered down taste? Is there any taste to it? Uh, a B is just better, yeah. But more, uh, they try kind of dry taste. Which one? The egg? Uh, egg. It has kind of a little bit dry, dry texture, dry, dry flavor. Kind of dry. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. And then yeah. watery too, right? Yeah, watery. Well, you know what? You got it right, Marl.